Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting parametric equation. We have a to the power x equals square root of x, and we're going to be solving for the x values, or maybe the a values, or both. So what is the question? Well, the question can be something like solve for all values of a, but especially, I'd like you to take a look at the situation where these functions are tangent. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the situation where these two graphs are tangent to each other, and we're going to find A in that case. So I'm going to show you a couple graphs, but let's go ahead and take a look at the functions first. So we have f of x equals a to the power x. Let's designate that. And g of x equals square root of x. So the question is, we want these two functions, the graphs of these two functions, to be tangent to each other. And in that case, what is the value of a? Because in this case, um, a can be anything, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at a scenario where we kind of play with the values of a. So here's Desmos. So what you can basically do is you can set up a ruler of certain values for a, and you can kind of compare these two graphs, a to the power x and square root of x. For changing a values, obviously, we're going to get a different graph. The, the blue one every time is going to be different. The pink one is basically the square root function. So if, if a is equal to 0, you're going to get y equals 1, which is basically kind of like a horizontal line, right? All right. What happens if you change the value of a a little bit, like make it a little larger? Obviously, a to the power x is an exponential function. And if a is less than 1, right, you're going to have a decreasing function like this one. And you can also zoom in if you want. Or you're going to have... Uh, a values that are larger than 1, let's go ahead and increase the A values. Notice that as A uh, increases towards 1, our graph is going to turn into an increasing graph. At A equals 1, it is supposed to be, I don't know if I can exactly get the 1 there, but maybe like this. There you go. You're going to get Y equals 1 as your horizontal line. They're going to intersect at a point, but we're not interested in that. We're interested in the tangency. So if I increase the values of A a little bit, you're going to notice that we're going to get a curve now, which is an increasing function for the exponential. And at some value of a, kind of like 1.2-ish maybe, the graphs are going to be tangent. But obviously, this is not a proof by any chance. We're going to go ahead and evaluate it. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the problem and see how we can find the point of tangency. Here, we have these two functions. And... Let's, let's say they are tangent at x equals r. r is for root, okay? So that means f of r equals g of r because the functions are going to intersect at that point, right? And f of r is a to the power r. g of r is square root of r. So that's our first equation. And we're going to use uh, substitution here. So it's going to be interesting because we have two unknowns. Now the second equation is going to come from the derivatives. Since two functions are tangent, that means they have a common tangent at that point. So let's go ahead and differentiate f. We get a to the power x ln a. And if we replace x with r, that gives us a to the power r ln a. Let's differentiate g. That's going to give us 1 over 2 times the square root of x. There's a rule for that, right? And then replace x with r in the derivative. g prime at r is going to be 1 over 2 times the square root of r. Okay, so we have two functions that are tangent. Uh, so that means they're going to have a common tangent, right? So the derivatives at x equals r should also be equal because that's going to give you the slope of the tangent at that point. They have a common tangent. So r a to the power r ln a equals 1 over 2 times the square root of r. So how do we simplify something like this, right? Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I do have this equation, 1 over 2 root r equals a to the power r ln a. And I also have this equation right here, a to the power r is the same as square root of r. So I can go ahead and replace this a to the r, right, with square root of r. Let's do it. Square root of r ln a equals 1 over 2 times the square root of r. And then cross multiply, you get 2 r ln a equals 1 and r ln a equals 1 half. Now, this may not look very helpful because we have two variables, but that's okay. We're going to use it efficiently. How? 
We're going to take this expression one more time, a to the power r equals square root of r, and then ln both sides. And that makes a lot of sense, you'll see. ln a to the power r equals ln square root of r, which can be written as ln r to the power 1 half. Now, by using the power rules, we can go ahead and move these powers to the front, and this gives us r ln a equals 1 half ln r. And we know that r ln a is 1 half, so we can replace this with 1 half, and that's going to give us 1 half equals 1 half ln r, and then from here, we're going to get ln r equals 1, which implies r equals e, Euler's number. Great. So we got the value of r, but r is something that we invented. We're looking for a, not r. But once you find r, you can find a very easily. How? To find a, we're going to use one of these equations, right? For example, r ln a equals 1 half. r ln a is equal to 1 half. But r is e, Euler's number, so we have e ln a is 1 half. Then from here, ln a becomes 1 over 2e. But this is base e, so a becomes, by using definition of logs or whatever you want to use, a becomes e to the power 1 over 2e. Don't worry about the value of that uh, number. I'm going to show you a graph that doesn't move, and then you'll get the idea. But that is the a value that we've been looking for. Now let's go ahead and uh, go back to the Desmos graph that I just showed you because I want to show you something else. In this graph, remember, we said that we can change the values by sliding the slider, right? But you can also do the following. Obviously, it's totally up to you how you want to change, um, choose your range. You can go ahead and um, press the play button, and it'll just do the work for you. It's just going to go through the values, and you can see kind of at which point. It's kind of hard to catch, but I know. And you can pause it at any time, and then you can kind of play with it. Anyways, I just wanted to show you this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the final graph now, and we're just going to wrap it up. So we got this answer. Let's go ahead and check the graph. On the final graph, we have the following situation. y equals square root of x is tangent to y equals a to the power x for a equals e to the power 1 over 2e. And approximately, a is about, about 1.7. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.